So today, uh, my group will present uh, the wedding collection application system. Okay, this is uh, our member details. So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Naatka Asha and I am the project manager for this project. Okay, Assalamualaikum, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The name given to me is Sharifah Fatimah. And as for me, I am the web programmer. Assalamualaikum, I am Nuri Fati Aisha. I am web designer for this project. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nuriana Binti Muhammad Nawawi. I am a software developer. So, uh, the introduction, uh, the wedding collection application system has been developed to override the problem prevailing in the practicing menu system. Moreover, this application is designed to carry out operation in a smooth and efficient manner. The user does not need any formal knowledge to use this system. To avoid data entry errors, the application is kept as simple as possible. Online wedding collection can lead to management systems that are error-free, secure, dependable and fast. It will assist organizations in making better use of their resources. So we have uh, four objectives. First, customer can book their wedding ceremony uh, easier at home. Uh, next, reduce the time consuming to book a wedding. Next, uh, help the customer to fulfill their dream wedding with their appropriate system. And lastly, make it simple for customer to select various type of package based on their budget. Next, uh, about the problem statement. First, customer data is bound to be lost or error when using the old menu way. Second, our package, price and feedback from customers who use our service make it easier for customer to make budget-friendly choice. And the third, customer can pay via credit card or online banking. And lastly, uh, it takes a long time for customer who come in store to make a choice and it will cause other customer to wait. And for the target audience, our intended audience for this system is the bride and groom who desire a wedding planner who offers a variety of package including vouchers, uh, invitation cards as well as photographer and makeup artist. At any time, customer can easily make reservation through this wedding collection website. Okay, next is the entity relationship diagram. Um, as you can see, we have four tables, which is tables info, booking, payment details, and code. So the table info is for customer and admin. So first, um, they need to enter username, email, and ver verify password. Okay, next uh, is the table booking. So the re relationship for this table is one to many, which is um, info makes booking. So they need to key in customer name, IC, package, time, and then. Uh, it will calculate and display the output, uh, which is the total price. Then, uh, table payment details. This table for customer proceed their payment. And lastly, a uh, table call. Um, table for table call uh, for customer provide some feedback or suggestion. Next. Okay. Next is the activities diagram. So first, um, user. Uh, we have two user, which is admin and customer. Okay, for admin, um, first they enter your website, and then uh, they need uh, choose account admin lah. And then um, admin can uh, proceed to login and uh, 
they can review the bookings that you have made from the customer okay for customer if they have um, uh, account and uh, they will proceed to home page and they can visit the gallery page card book page bridal page add on and they uh, can booking and then uh, they will proceed to payment and it will return the invoice and then done okay if public user they don't have account they can visit home page and uh, gallery and feedback for giving some suggestion and uh, or they uh, want to register they can register uh, in the system okay that's all for me Okay, now let's proceed to the demonstration. This is the index page. And at the index page, first of all, they will ask the user if they have a, an account or not. So, first, we ask, let's ask proceed with public user, the ones that doesn't have an account. After we click to the no, I don't, then it will show us to the home page. This is the home page where this is our navigation bar and there we have our logo at this logo if we keep click on it then we proceed back to the index page now let's see about the home page we have first of all we have the current time here this shows the time at our clock showing to us so right now it's 22 34 14 which means it's 10 o'clock in the at night and here we can search for the dates that we prefer to put our alarm clock and the time that we want it to for example 11 35 am once we set it and then we set the alarm there we go but we can also clear the alarm that we have set before like this now it's gone all right and then under this page we have about us as you can see, this is the interface. We have uh, this is our wedding collection and this is our slogan. And we tell about what the events that we organize or uh, services that we give to, for our customer. As you can see here, we have a, an image about our own logo, and under this, we have more how to how the customer contact us so this is what the customer without uh, an account would see and if they click on this it will show the gallery and this yeah the gallery the customer the user can the public user can just see it like this right through all the image that we have given now let's look about the feedback. For example, the customer can key in the feedback and put an additional comments. This is for the public one. For example, let's see. I am satisfied. And they can click in number, email, and name. This is optional. And submit the feedback. Once the feedback is in, there we go. All right. Now let's check if it's actually going into the database or not. Yes, here it is, the one that we have just key in. Now let us proceed to the add-on packages. On this add-on packages, if the customer without an account actually save, uh, click in the book now then we go directly to the login page and if that is also applying to the card invitation this is our card invitation for the public user as you can see there's still the book now button and if you click on it it still go to the login page the wedding stage The same as before and lastly 
we have the navigation where we let them to log in an account or sign up account. So let's try the sign up account. Say we have um, chicken. Then the email address would be nick at email dot com. Password. Right. Let's try to sign up. Okay, we have registered successfully. Now click here to log in. Now let's try. Alright, for this one, they will be proceed to the customer section. So, Miss Atika, can you proceed? With so, since this is uh, for customer that has an account, you will uh, enter the details that they have registered before. Okay, and then you will proceed to the uh, you choose a user whether you are an admin or customer. So if you are customer, you can click on the customer button. So firstly, you will be redirect to uh, the home page, and then the customer can browse to this home page, or they can. And then the customer can uh, click on the navigation bar, which is, for example, they want to see the gallery. They can just click on the pictures to enlarge them. And then the customer can go for the card invitation uh, page. They can, they can see the many of uh, our card invitation uh, image and then they can pick on the book now if they want to go to the booking page booking. so this is the booking form but if the customer didn't want to book yet they can just go for the uh, other navigation page just for example wedding stage So, Wedding Stage also has uh, the Book Now button. So, if they click on it, it will be direct to Booking uh, Form page. So, first, customer must uh, enter their name, IC, phone number, address. And their wedding location. wedding date C 25 and then wedding time 10 a.m. they can choose their uh, wedding stage package invitation card and they also can choose how many pieces they want for their card and at our package, we have two add on which is professional photographer and professional makeup. So let's say I choose photographer. And then for the booking hours, uh, it was for the add on package. So let's say I choose two hours. And then calculate the total price. I click on the calculate button. So the total is 4,200. So after we click on the submit, it will be redirect to the payment details. So the customer must uh, enter their name, IC number, F number once again. Right? And then uh, they will choose either online banking or credit card. If uh, if they choose credit card, they must enter the details. But if they choose online banking, then they didn't have to uh, enter the details. So they can just click on pay if they choose online banking. Online banking, pay. Right. Okay, after they have clicked on the pay button, it will 
show the invoice uh, page. They can either print this invoice or they can go back to the to book more or to to to, to see the uh, gallery or out or, or all of our page. And then they can just look up. So let's see the database whether the payment details enter the database or not. Let's see the booking first. So, the, so we can see that uh, the customer detail enter the booking uh, table. Is Amia and for the payment details, it will, the payment ID is one four seven seven. Let's proceed to the to the admin. Okay, for the admin, first of all, when they that they have an account, they straight to the login page where they will need to enter their username. For example, Melinda and then the password. Okay, here we go. When they log in, it's immediately redirect them to the choose user page. Then for the admin, they need to click on the admin. Now they will proceed to the this home page, just like the other home page. There's an image, but the image still got at this page. And and the other is just like the other home page. Then, the one special about the admin is where they can manage the booking. Alright, let's see. This is the page where the admin can see uh, the people that has booked with this company. This this website. Guys, like the one that we have done before. The booking ID is 55. They are the wedding packages, the customer name, identity card, phone number, customer address, and the location, the date, time, the package, the add-ons, and lastly, the total price. So, for the admin, they has the ability to delete this booking. Right? Like this. Then, the local host will ask if they are sure to delete the record. And if they are, then, they successfully delete one record if they have been successful. Alright. Okay. And we will go back to the management page, which is the review booking page. And as you can see, the booking from before has been successfully deleted. Now let's get into the database. Yep, as you can see, it's empty. Alright, and then the admin has also can log out and either he can sign up. Log out will proceed him to the login page back again. Alright, that is all from us.